Hey guys, what is up? My name is Tori Peters. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw five different types of mouths. And yeah, it's going to be a total blast. So if you're interested in learning how to draw some pretty simple mouths that you can use with just about any sort of character, any sort of uh, picture that you want to do. What's up, Charlie? That's my cat. His name is Charlie. He's cute. Yeah, stick around, and if you stick to the very end, I will show you exactly how I shade the mouse and color them in as well, so that they seem super realistic. So, stick around, and I'd love for you to learn with me here. So, yeah, let's jump straight into the video. Cool. So, the first mouth that I'm going to be showing you is honestly I think it's my favorite and it's probably what you would use for like an animal more than anything else but it's just so cute that I had to add it in here. So here we go. You're gonna start off and you're gonna do like a little curve and that's gonna be the top of the mouth. So you wanna do like one bump and then go up. So you'll start off up, go down, do a little curved in there, bump, and then go down like that. And then you want to go down. You kind of want to make it a little square down there. And take it all the way to this side and connect it up there at the top. Sometimes I go from the other direction. It just sort of depends. Okay, so there you go. There's already half of what we're going to put in there. So then you can you can just go straight across or do like a little curved mouth there. For this particular particular mouth though, I like to take it in, make little fangs, and then go across. And then underneath it, you'll put like a little chin piece there and like I said, this is probably one that I would use for like an animal or something like that. So I always give it a little nose. <laughs> okay, so there is number one. And honestly, this one personally is my favorite. Cool, so for number two, what we're gonna do, this one is more of like, it's a smirk more than anything else. And so, or like, this one is one that you would use for like a guy who's either being really cheesy or like one who's like being real cool. So, cause it's a really big smile. So the way that you're gonna do it is you're gonna start off, just go do a curve up like that. So do a curve line like that. Then I'm actually gonna start from this end this time and go down. So now we almost have like a little Nike swoosh sort of a thing, or like a boomerang. It looks more like a boomerang than the Nike swoosh, let's be honest here. So yeah, we've got this little boomerang, right? Then you're gonna take it from, uh, you can go from the middle, go towards more towards the top, however you wanna do it. I like it sort of towards the top. Do a line like that, and that's gonna be like a smile. That's gonna be like where his teeth are. And I'm gonna take it all the way to about there. Alright, then you're gonna do like a little dimple line up here, and then another line down at the bottom for the chin, and there's mouth number two. Super simple, super easy. Gonna look pretty dang hot. If you want, you can add a little sparkle in there. Maybe erase that middle bit, add a little sparkle. That doesn't look like a sparkle from that angle. <laughs> uh, let's see. You can go. There you go. If you want, you can do that. I don't know if I like that there. I might add it more towards the more towards the top instead. If I were to do it. I don't think I'm gonna keep that though. So yeah. That's how you can do smile number two. All right, mouth number three is honestly probably the most simple one, and it's honestly probably the one I use the most anyway. So you're just literally going to start off by putting a line. 
straight line. You can make it a little bit curved if you want to. However you want to do that, I'm just going to do just like that. Then we're going to take it down, go up, make yourself a little tongue. You can put a seagull in there like we did with little birds when you were a little kid. Do that. That's how I make tongues normally. Yep. So that would be mouth number three. That one is super easy. All right. So mouth number four is almost as easy as the last one with a few extra little bits here and there. So the way you're going to do it is you're actually going to go with a line like this, just almost curving upwards instead of like down like most of the mouths. You're going to go up and then you're going to not do that. <laughs> then you're going to pull a line just like this. Down like that. You're going to bring it, do a line across like that. And then you're going to do one sort of a rounded bit in there. So, and then you're gonna add a dimple right here, and I'm gonna add a nose there as well. So it looks like it's smiling. If you want, you can bring it up a little further. However you wanna do that, just like that. So that would be mouth number four. Alright, so mouth number five is honestly, I think this one is really cute and it's definitely for like a goofy kid that you would do. Like, uh, if you've seen the movie Up, the little girl has a smile that's like this and I know people who have smiles like this, so it's just really cute. This one's a cute one. So, what you're going to do is you're going to do a smile shape and then you'll bring it down from, you always kind of want to leave a gap there so that it looks like lips are actually open you know so I or I personally always leave sort of a gap there but we'll do it on this side we'll make the corner go from there and actually I don't know that I'm gonna make it that high up so it's gonna be a subtle tilt up on that side okay so there we go You've got that part, now you have to do the inside of the mouth. So how you're gonna do it is, I'm gonna go from right here, and instead of going all the way across, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the line stop right there. And you're gonna do it again from this side. That way, it looks like the person has a gap in their teeth. And yeah, I know quite a few people who've had this and honestly it's really adorable. So there you go. There is smile number five. Now for a sort of bonus to you guys for watching till the end of the video I'm going to show you how personally uh, the shadows of a mouth would work as well as like how I would color it in. So the way I'm going to do that is we're going to start and I'm going to show you how to do all those mouths color them in. So mouth one and mouth number two don't need to be colored in because they are teeth and they're just all teeth smiles. So there's not really going to be any color there. Unless you wanted to, you could add like gums in there, but I don't really like very rarely are you going to do that for unless it's like a specifically like a character trait. So I personally am not going to color either of those in, but what I will do is color these in. And honestly, I'm not gonna lie, these would be kind of interesting eyes as well. Like, it looks like a pupil and, okay, yeah. <laughs> so now that I've shown you that beautiful sight, I'm gonna show you how I color in eyes. Or not eyes, these are mouths. I'm gonna show you how I color in mouths. So I have two different colors here. I've got a light color and a dark color. So when you're looking in, into someone's mouth, this part, or, yeah, I'll start with this one down here. Okay, so this part right here, this is the back of the mouth. It's going to have a lot more shadows, and so I always make it 
darker. Honestly, this is something that I kind of forget a lot of times, and so sometimes I'll switch the colors. But you honestly always want to make the further away part darker because it's in shadow. It's the part that's inside someone's mouth. And then the tongue needs to be lighter because it's the part that would actually like get sunlight when you open your mouth. So super simple, super easy. I just dropped my light pink pencil, but I'll go get it in a sec. For now, we'll just color in the dark parts of the mouth, right? Okay, so for each of these, I'm just gonna color in the dark bits with the darker color, and then we'll go back in and we'll color the lighter bits with the light color. There we go. Cool. So now we'll color in the mouth, the tongues. That's like an ugly peach color. The nice thing about colored pencils or anything like that is you can normally go over them with a separate color and it'll make the color look better. Markers are a lot harder to do that with. And so yeah. There we go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this short little tutorial. And yeah, let me know which mouth is your favorite. Is it one, two, three, four, or five? I want to know which one you like the most, which one you think is the best. So yeah, let me know in the comments below. And if you liked this video, hit subscribe for me because I would love to have you join my community and love to just uh, have y'all's support from this and yeah so I hope you guys have a great day today and I'll see you tomorrow so have a great adventure bye guys